Coming up on Red Hawk News, students in the Computer Aid Drafter Program attended a professional workshop. We recognize the winners of Character Counts for January, and on this week's Hawk Talk, we show appreciation for our school counselors. Red Hawk News starts now. Coming to you from Red Hawk Studios at the Atlantic County Institute of Technology, this is Red Hawk News. Welcome to today's episode of Red Hawk News, the most trusted source for all things ACIT. I'm Brittany Thomas. Students in the CAD program who are involved in redesigning Fisherman's Park in Atlanta City had the opportunity to meet and learn from industry professionals at a recent workshop. On Tuesday, January 31st, 2023, students involved with the new design of Atlantic City Fisherman's Park got the opportunity to share their park designs with professionals. Students were able to go on a trip to Harris Resort and Casino, located in Atlantic City, where they met with the New Jersey American Society of Landscape Architects Diversity Initiative. The NJASLADI created a design challenge to show what it is like to design this type of project. This gave students the opportunity to meet with professionals and get hands-on experience, as well as feedback on their designs for the park. The challenge was approximately 40 minutes long. Each of the groups were given a base map of Fisherman's Park, trace paper, notepads, markers, and pens to help them draw design ideas for the newly opened space. I'm Jared Trainer for Red Hawk Media. Red Hawk News wants to acknowledge the monthly winner of Character Counts for January. The word of the month for January was empathy, and each one of these winners fit the mold. For 9th grade, Neander Dorval. For 10th grade, Brianna Capanna. For 11th grade, Alexa Lonos, and for 12th grade, Vivian Velasquez Benegas. Each month, students can nominate a peer for character counts. The winner from the senior year class will be in the running for character count scholarship at the end of the year. Each of the winners receive a Wawa gift card. Congratulations from everyone at Red Hawk Media. We'll be right back after this quick break. <music> Attention, ACIT students and staff. 2022 to 2023 yearbooks are only on sale for a few more weeks, so don't miss out. Yearbooks cost $90 and orders must be made by April 1st. Order your yearbook at www.jostens.com YB23. The ACIT Safety Committee is seeking student feedback to improve participation in our upcoming annual safety contest. This contest is sponsored by our generous insurance partners, Glenn Insurance Inc. and Insurance Agencies Inc. On top of that, prizes are going to be awarded. $500 in Amazon gift cards were distributed to last year's eight winners and will be this year as well. Scan the QR code or visit ACITech.org to complete the survey. The Performing Arts Program through Special Arrangements with Music Theater International presents Susicle which combines several classic Dr. Seuss stories into one colorful stage show. Tickets for this year's musical are on sale now. Shows on March 3rd and the 10th will be at 7 p.m. and shows on March 4th and the 11th will begin at 2 p.m. and 7 p.m. Tickets are $15 for adults, 10 for students, and 8 for children under the age of 10. Pre-order your reserved seating at acitech.org or scan the QR code. Tickets can be purchased in cash at the door before each performance. We look forward to seeing you there. Hey Red Hawks, do you enjoy sports? Do you play a sport? If you answer yes to any of these questions, ACIT has a new and growing podcast that aims to get more students involved with sports conversation. Introducing the ACIT Pro Pod, a sports podcast that focuses on sports that most students at ACIT are familiar with. Whether professional or school sports, the ACIT Pro Pod has you guys covered. With our hosts, Xavier Robardo, Ryan McAnally, and me, Jana Ferrer, we'll talk about anything and everything sports. The ACIT Pro Pod will be on the ACIT Red Hawk Media YouTube channel, where you can also find previous episodes that have aired. We hope you tune in.
On this week's segment of Hawk Talk, we spoke to various students at ACIT and staff about their various experiences with school counselors and the positive results that came from it. Welcome to Red Hawk News. My name is Aaron Baldwin. Today I'm here with D'Angelo Falcone Iglesias. In honor of Guidance Appreciation Week, we'd like to ask if there's one message you could send to your guidance counselor, what would it be? I would say thank you, Mr. Mooney, for keeping track of my attendance and making sure that I'm doing well every day. Ariel Camacho, I am here today with Ms. O. And today I would be asking Ms. O, how has your guidance counselor impacted your life? Well, my guidance counselor in high school was amazing and she really encouraged me to um, kind of think outside the box and just to follow the interests that I had. And that's why I ended up as a librarian. But our guidance counselors are great. I really like how they kind of um, work with students, not, not just academically, but trying to develop them into better human beings. How has your guidance counselor impacted your life? Hey, let me do a credit completion instead of failing. Um, by allowing me not to stay in a class where I just waste my time because it wasn't in the right, right placement. If there was one message you could send your guidance counselor, what would it be? My guidance counselor that I had in high school? Um, I wouldn't be where I am today without her. She was a major source of support academically for me, gave me great advice for college, and you know, really inspired me, so I would say thank you. How do you feel about the guidance counselors here at ACIT? I think they're very helpful, and they, like, they're easy to contact when you need them really quickly. I like them a lot because they, they give you an open space to talk about whatever you need to talk about and they're very helpful and they care for you a lot. What she said. Although Guidance Counselor Appreciation Week has come to an end, it should not stop from sending love to our counselors. And with that being said, for Red Hawk News, I'm Erin Baldwin. Thank you for joining us and don't forget to follow Red Hawk Media on YouTube. Please like and subscribe to receive the latest news from ACIT. Also, discover more about ACIT from our digital publication, The Pursuit. Remember to keep pursuing what you love. For the crew and staff of Red Hawk News, we'll see you next time.